Hello all and welcome back. Earlier on this channel, during one of my DPS guys, I kind of made a promise to you that I will be making a video where I go through every single dungeon and show you what a Frost Mage or any other uh, ranged DPS should do. Well, upon trying to make that video several times, I realized that it's going to be very, very long. Even if I condense it to like one dungeon per video, it's still going to be at least half an hour video. So instead of doing that, I decided to start a new series where I make a bunch of three to five minute videos in which I talk about small tips and tricks, small baiting strategies, etc, etc, that you can do in order to make your life easier as a DPS and as a whole group. Okay, so today I would like to talk about the baiting strategy that is most common for high key pushers in Court of Stars for the last boss advisor Melandros. This strategy can be done by any ranged DPS or healer. And what you need to do is have one set person stand on one of the corners of the room. For example, in this case, I'm the one who's doing the baiting. Everybody else should be stacked around the tank with the boss. So the idea is the boss always target the farthest player away from him for the ability blade search and by always standing away from the boss you can make sure that this ability lands on you and you can stack this ability on top of one another which helps your group out a lot during another ability which is piercing gale allow me to show that so we start off with the regular opening as you can see i'm pumping because i'm frost mage i get blade search i move away the boss leaves a ghost so what i do immediately afterwards and of course, after dodging this piercing gale, is go back into that ghost thingy. It's not going to hurt you. And the boss casts another blade surge. And now the ghosts are stacked up. Here, of course, make sure that whenever the boss is casting slicing maelstrom, you move away from these ads and the boss alike. And you see these white circles around the ads. And there's going to be a similar circle on the boss. Uh, stay away from these circles. So just wait for the maelstrom to pass over. Keep doing your DPS. And as soon as it's over, just blink back into the ads. That's literally it. Allow me to show you a different POV of this whole thing. This time, I'm one of the people that is standing with the boss and i believe it is a hunter that's doing the baiting this time so as you can see we're just doing dps we're ignoring everything else just dodging piercing gale it's really nicely stacked up uh, as soon as that's over just go inside the boss just look at how perfectly he's baiting the ads are literally on top of one another so it's slicing maelstrom just stay away from the boss keep doing dps make sure that you're close to the tank don't be like me here i was like a little bit away from the tank like the hunter was further away from the boss than me so he got the blade surge if i were a little bit away from the boss maybe i would have gotten it and it would have messed up the strategy so please be careful about that and here i don't know if you guys can hear it but my healer uh, on discord he was warning me about this like finn please stay close to boss and so like and then you just go back into the tank the tank clears the things with bubble so you keep doing this Kill the boss, you know, timer plus 23 quarter of stars, get 10 IO, I'm, I was 29.50 uh, when I was making this video. By the time that you're watching me, I think I'm going to be 3k, but we'll see. Well, okay folks, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this really quick guide. Let me know in the comment section uh, if you enjoyed this series and this format, uh, so that I will be making like and 15, 20 more of these videos. I'll uh, show you every single trick that you can do in order to maximize your DPS and make everything else easy. Well, take care. Before I go, I just wanted to mention that only a very small portion of my viewers have actually subscribed to the channel. If you want to see more Mythic Plus runs, more DPS guides, more gold farms, and pretty much anything World of Warcraft related, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would really appreciate it if you do. Thanks so much and stay frosty.